Hello there folks, Kirk Giordano with Kirk Giordano Plastering here again. We tore this wall off yesterday and we are going to put it all back together today and do a scratch coat on it, probably tomorrow. They've already redone this wall here, but it's still leaked nine years later. And what they have here is, they had a hole right here and they didn't have a Z flashing. So what we are doing is we're placing this Z flashing right here, very necessary, and we're putting the quarter flash above it. You can see over here where the hole was. They had a hole here, and the craft paper that they originally had was deteriorated. So the water was going through the stucco, going right in this huge hole here. It's about an inch thick, um, just going in the house. Another key thing they did wrong was they bent the wire around the corner. If you look over here, this wood is somewhat damaged. It's not damaged enough where we have to replace it. However, I put some greens clear on it, which stops the decay in its tracks. So we're going to take our new wire and go to the corner here, and the same on this side, and put a corner here, rather than bend the wire around the corner, which creates leaks here. There are two major things incorrect here, the big gap here, uh, and no Z flashing, no Z flashing above the top windows either. So we are removing from all the way around the corner there to the sliding glass door. Here we had to take it four feet on the other side because the wood rot dictates where we stop and start, not, shouldn't be finances, but sometimes it is. Anyhow, that's where we're at today. I'm going to continue with this Forta Flash all the way around these, both of the windows here. This is a nice membrane, and we're going to put it back together. Soon enough, you'll see us putting it back together. Okay, we're at a stage right here where we remove this threshold. This is usually here, so when you step on this, you don't crack the stuff on It had a grace membrane, which was perfect. But we just went ahead and put two more layers of paper, and I'm going to put this back here. We've got the layers of paper here going over the uh, grace membrane too. We're going to do the sides. We're on our way to putting this thing back together properly. And now that we have this Forta Flash here, which is like a grace membrane, it's thick. I'm going to paper over that here, and I'm papering over my other paper on this side. You can't see it, but I'm overlapping vertically a foot and a half. That's how much I like to overlap vertically on this side. Here, I'm going to double this up because the corner was beat up a little bit. Uh, so I got two layers here. I'm putting two more layers. This is dual paper. It has two layers spot glued together. And I'm going to do this the entire way up the house. I'm going to have four layers here, four layers all the way up, only because this is somewhat beat up. We don't want to take any chances with these corners. Real important. What we have here, we have a balcony that was attached to the house. It took a couple hours of chiseling just to get it out. But once we get that out, then we put the membrane in back next to the wall. Of course, our membrane's here, our membrane's here, and we're going to paper over this still. Um, what's real important is a lot of people think, oh, you can just break to the corner here. That's a shortcut. That shortcut can cause a tremendous amount of damage. So there are no shortcuts. You have to take it around the corner, and we took it to this sliding glass door. That way we get a nice, even seal. And we are still going to go over this with two more layers of paper. Anyhow, that's it for the, the lab. We're going to finish up all the paper and wire, staple everything off. All right. Now we're at the stretch stage. And then, this part's so easy, you hand apply it, and the scratch means just that. We're using what we call a scratcher. And it puts the horizontal lines in it. So the next coat hits these, and it kind of grips. If you go this way, the vertical, it hits here and it tends to drag. So you got to go horizontal. It's just called a scratch coat because you're putting scratch marks in it. Next week, we're going to do the brown coat. And there you have it folks, load finish. One man is putting it on, I'm floating it, taking the stuff off the windows, and even when you pull it off, you're still going to find a little bit of resin on the windows, that's why you always got to have the stuff 
hand dandy rag and my job is to float this. I do the spreading also, but I do both. Anyhow, you see this is a float finish. It's a two coat system and they're going to paint this to match the original finish. Okay, now you see how important it is to do that. Paper and wire properly so you don't have to redo it the second and third time like this. Thank you for listening. Have a nice day.